Good morning, everyone. It is March the 7th, 2016. Time to kick off another week of trading. And we come into a Monday morning that there's no news to really speak of to drive today's trading. Probably the biggest uh, news events today will be what two Fed governors may or may not say at 1300 Eastern Time today. I think that's probably the biggest piece of news. Uh, there was disappointment in China's um, commitment to growth and spending. They have officially uh, put their annual targeted growth for the next five years at 6.5%. Uh, could live with 7. Uh, China's decrease in reserves. Uh, they only uh, withdrew $29 billion as opposed to $100 billion bucks uh, per month that they have been doing for the last three months. So... Uh, the only stock market, uh, as I took my notes this morning, that was up was China's. The rest of the world is down. Uh, big news, probably the biggest news event this week will be the ECB's rate announcement on Thursday. And I've got this feeling that because the European economy is showing tepid growth, uh, that maybe Mario will come out and say, Everything's fine right now. Things are working as planned. We don't have to do anything with our interest rates or our quantitative easing program, but we're ready to do anything and everything when the need uh, becomes apparent. I, I think central banks now have finally come to the conclusion that uh, more stimulation uh, probably doesn't work, and I think the question or issue facing central bankers now is, what if we do something and the markets go the opposite way? Uh, then they have no more um, ways to stimulate the economy. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, come Thursday, Mario and crew leave things unchanged. Um, we'll have to see if that actually happens. Uh, the news today is labor market conditions index. No estimate given for that. Last month it was up four tenths of a percent, and Gallup consumer spending measure eighty one bucks per day. Uh, they'd like to see uh, both of those numbers higher than they were last month. So we have a trend day that started uh, on um, Friday uh, with the unemployment numbers. Um, we stabilized it. We did make new lows on this move. You can see that we've got a very, very clean break in the uh, 2904, 2908 area. And you can see the London high stopped at 04. Uh, we're at 31 right now. So uh, the first sell band is going to be uh, 29 even, 29.04. And then 7 to 11. On the uh, buy side, I, I think I like the short side better to see if we can bust, uh, take out this 27 area. But you can see there's pretty good support. Uh, starting from 27 on down. So we'll get started with 21, 25, and then 17 to 13 for buy two. And that's on the assumption that we can bust 28. If we can't break 28, then obviously the uh, buy area will move up as will the sell zone. So I think there is one short left this morning, and we'll see if that. Uh, actually plays the best sell would be from 03 to 07 29 03 to 07 but it may take 31s to get in most supportive thing for treasuries today will be um, the direction of the stock market if the mini sells uh, we should get some support and then tomorrow's three-year auction Looking at the 30-year, um, you can see that London stopped at 10. The overnight session stopped at 15. You can see that the last rotate up um, on Friday stopped at 14. So 12 to 16 is pretty good resistance. Um, and our first sell will be 7 to 11. And the spill then came from 16 right there. So then we'll make it um, 
15 to 19 will hold the sells in pretty close because I do think the market's going to try to break. Um, pretty good support at 20. Uh, we're at the buck, so 21, 25, buy one. And then 9 to 13 will be buy two. Okay, moving on to gold. Uh, the moisture pump from the Gulf of Mexico started yesterday afternoon. That's when we started to get humidities going. Uh, the temperature delta between the overnight uh, lows and highs really, really narrowed, which is what humidity will do for you. And uh, big storms are uh, forecast south and east of us to break out for the first time. Uh, uh, big pump, the uh, Gulf Moisture Pump. Uh, we haven't seen all that rain from California that was promised last week. But we'll take it, um, be from the Gulf of Mexico or from the Pacific Ocean. We're, we're ready. We need it. Okay, uh, gold, uh, we, we like gold. We like the long side of the market. You can see that uh, this 55, 57, pretty clean break in the market, 57, 60. Uh, obviously 75 so 75 77 is where the selling was on Friday sell one and then uh, 80 82 for sell two I really think we're headed above 1300 don't really like the short side of the market although it does give us good trades I think you were just I think everybody's trying to f find a place to buy it uh, London's last rotate down low was six to the low side was 63 then we have this SNR at um, 67, so we'll make 65, 67 by one, and then 60, 62 by two. Trying to buy 60s to 65s, trying to sell 75s or, or higher is the way the the numbers work out. Okay, the euro uh, probably is going to be run down into uh, the European Central Bank announcement coming Thursday. It's usually the case because uh, Mario has promised us that he's going to go even more negative on interest rates and that there'll be more QE forthcoming. I, I think it's pretty hard to do that. Um, if central bank market intervention is what is supporting and holding up the markets. I, we're really getting to a point where a lot of people uh, have, are saying enough. Okay, I've got nickel price increments. I went from two. Uh, maybe three is the right way to look at it. Um, but you can see that this uh, 25 area down here is probably reasonable support. We'll make that buy one, and then the buck will be buy two. On the uh, sell side, London stopped at 73. We're at 52, so 70, 75, sell one, and then the buck for sell two. And that price scale is a little bit compressed, so I'll go. I think I'll maybe go to three tick increments and see how that works. I think the market is going to head lower. Okay, crude oil. Um, the one of the big one of the articles that was out over the weekend was that uh, how the hedge funds have uh, gotten out of the uh, majority of their shorts or a great deal of their shorts in crude oil, and that's been what's propelling or has propelled the market higher. Um, so. Ten bucks um, usually contains 
uh, will absorb all the uh, uh, you know repositioning done by the major players and we'll see if that happens that would put us in the uh, 20 37 38 area uh, is where the market would uh, stop and we have 40 bucks after that this high volume number at 3675 has stopped the market so we'll make our first sell 75 to 37 so one then 50 to 75 pick up this other high volume area up here for sell two uh, the breakout came late Friday at um, 36 and a quarter, so 36, 36. Actually, uh, I'm going to put 35, 75, 36 for buy one. And then 35 even, 35 and a quarter for buy two. May have to raise those 25 cents on the buy side, but. supply remains a problem with crude oil and uh, even though rhetorically different OPEC members are talking about uh, why the market and will go higher because of this cooperation that is developing between OPEC members and freezing production at the highest it's highest official quotas it's ever been will work to stabilize the oil market so talk is cheap and uh, we'll see what happens so right now short squeeze okay the e-mini we uh, we did hit our 2000 target plus some uh, got all the way up to that high volume area at, uh, at 07 uh, right now, resistance starts at 95, and you can see as the market traded on Friday, and it's part of that's just end of the week profit taking. Uh, we had the high at seven, then we have the high at 2000, 2001, then we have a high at 99, and then we have the London high at 96, and we definitely are dealing with a B. So we're at 88 right now. So. Uh, while I would like to sell 95s to 2000, we're going to put a question mark in this 90 to 92 area right here. Picking up that volume. And then the uh, 4 to 9 would be uh, sell 2. That's structurally where we are. Uh, if we can't break and build volume below uh, this uh, 82, 83 level, then the market's still poised to trade higher. No news to drive today's trading, so take it down, rally it back, then if we fail to take out the uh, uh, London high, that 95, 96 area, I think that's how the best short will develop, or the one that would be the easiest to take. Uh, initial support is going to be 80 to 85, that picks up this volume over here. Uh, resting limit buy at 82.50 uh, would be a structural buy. And then 70 to 75 will be buy two. Uh, no news to drive the trading. Uh, the issue to me now is where is support and uh, this 82 area uh, or 75 represents the best support in my opinion. don't have a real strong opinion I mean we're just kinda here and we're gonna see what happens and not get too excited one way about higher or lower prices can take a bit to get everything up and posted I will get busy on that I will be back with you as soon as possible